Yes, beautiful people, welcome back to Quick Wednesday TV. I go by the name KW, and today I've got here. Ashin. All right, so I've got this beautiful girl here today. She is going to teach me something completely different. Now, today I'm going to have Patois lessons. It's a native language of Jamaica. Yes, Jamaica. Now, Jamaicans, as you may be aware, are from West Africa. Um, and a little bit of Central Africa. Um, when I say West Africa, I'm talking about Ghana, I'm talking about Nigeria, I'm talking about Senegal, but mainly Ghana, as you know. Uh, yeah, hence why they're going back um, to Ghana. Um, so, Patua, yes, I want to learn. I hope you're ready to learn as well. Get your pens and papers ready. Let it go. By the way, before we start, you know, um, nah, today I'm not drinking Sobolo. Today I'm drinking hot chocolate, which Ghanaians call it Milu. Yes, unya mila and unya bread be no dear dear. Yo, let's go. I think we'd call that chocolate. Chocolate? Yeah, chocolate. Chocolate. Hot chocolate. Oh, hot chocolate. <laughs> yeah, no dear baby. All right, man, let's go. Right, so Jamaican patois, it's broken English. It's literally me teaching you a bunch of phrases, a bunch of pronouns, and flipping them backwards. Okay. So, all right, I'll teach you the first thing. Introduce yourself. Say, tell me your name. I. I. Am. I am. Sam. Sam. All right. So, in Patwa, me. Me. Niam. Eh? Niam. 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 Say, Niam. You need to come down here. Yes. From the Niam. 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 Sam. Sam. So, say it now. Me, me, Niam Sam. Sam. Me, Niam Kweku. Yes. Me, Niam Sam. Sam. Okay. Right. So it's like when you say I, it's me. Anything you're talking about yourself, yeah. me. 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 Me, Niam Sam. Right. Sounds Chinese though. Me, Niam. Japanese. Is it? Me, Niam. We have quite a few um, Chinese in Jamaica though. Yeah, they're everywhere, man. Mm -hmm. And they speak Patois. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Shout out to my Chinese, man. <laughs> Yeah. Definitely. So, all right, something else. If, say, your wife come home and you're not feeling, you're not feeling, like, you tell her something, she didn't really listen, mm. right? Mm. To emphasize your, your, your words, you say, mm. yo, so you start, you, you say, yo, 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 your ear, your ear, where, where, me say, me say, did you hear what I said? Oh, you hear me say? Yo, no, slow it, slow it down. Slow uh, just slow it down. Yo, yo, ear, ear, where, where, me, me, say, say, your ear when me say, your ear when me say. All right, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So it's, it is still English, mm, it's still in English, mm, mm. but you flip it and you put some girth, some oomph. But well, you know what? That is, um, thinking about it, when you go to Ghana, mm. there is, um, what's it called? Pigeon. Which is broken English as well. Okay. Um, same in Nigeria as well. So, yeah, okay, okay. But that's pretty much what it is. It's uh, our black ancestors mm. not being allowed to learn education, not being allowed, allowed to read, write, and formulate sentences. Mm. Okay. But they had to some level, they weren't allowed to speak their native languages. Right. So they had to learn the English one way or another. Okay. So instead of speaking in the correct tongue of English, standard English, yeah. then they, they had to break it down a little bit. And then that's where you get the, the broken Creole or Patois. Right, right. So they had to break it down, you know. Broke it down. Broke it down. Broke it down a bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Another thing as well, mm. depending on what side of Jamaica you're from. Okay. So whether you're from west side or east side, mm. your dialects sound a little bit different. So your mm. tones sound a little bit different. So say for example, if you come from Kingston. Mm. So this or now, mm. you have uptown Kingston people, which mm. are posh and mixture of standard English, but okay. still have the, the patois. Yeah. And then you have the ghetto, the ghetto girl. Uh, Okay. So I'm going to tell you the difference now between a ghetto girl yeah. and an uptown girl. Okay, okay. So, say me come from the ghetto. Say I came from the ghetto now, okay. which is Kingston. I'm going to ah, drag... Kingston is ghetto? There's, there's parts of Kingston that are ghetto, yeah. Hey. So, <laughs> so <laughs> when they speak, mm. you hear a lot of... Um, they they drag the tone okay they drag the patois a little bit more okay so it, it sounds a little bit more aggressive 
but it's it's not it's just them speaking a little bit more with passion I'll give so me an like, example all right so you see if you're not like comment subscribe to this channel yeah not now go on for you we all I had to subscribe <laughs> <laughs> so yo remember what, what did we say yours yo you you yo as in you the audience yeah. you see as in see yeah. if yeah. yo yeah. no as in no mm. like comment subscribe and press the notification bell pan this channel yeah <laughs> no na guan for you <laughs> <My company wasn't. laughs> did you understand I didn't hear anything. <laughs> I'm saying if you haven't liked uh, comment uh, subscribe uh, press the notification bell on this one <coughs> nothing is happening for you darling oh, just like you see it sounds so aggressive but I'm literally telling you now <laughs> tell me the way you would say it tell me the way you would say it okay in Kingston are because a country girl. I was born in Spanish town, but I grew up in Clarendon. Uh, you got Spain in Spanish town in Jamaica. Spanish town in Jamaica. So you speak Spanish? No. Jamaica was originally colonized by the Spanish before the English came. Mm. And then the English overthrew um the Spanish. And when before the English came, Spanish town was the capital of Jamaica. But then the English came and they made Kingston. The capital of Jamaica. So if you go to Jamaica now, you will see a lot of buildings look replicate um, buildings in Spain, and you will see a lot of buildings replicate buildings in the UK okay. because it's a mixture of the two different um, colonizations. Mm. Okay. And even though, um, even if you got Spanish town now, people will say, "Me aga Spain." You think? Really, I got to spend your fly out goody, yeah, man. Something I'm going to feel, but no, you didn't just go down the road, really. I'm going to sign you, but you need to relax. Eh? I don't mm -hmm. understand all this. Word, all, all, all. <laughs> so, goody, goody mm. mean good girl, hot girl, friend. So, goody is a term of endearment. So, when I see, okay, when my son sees a hot girl, what does mm -hmm. he say? Goody. Goody. Good up, good up, girl. Good up, good up, girl. Wagwan. 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 Okay, wagwan. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wagwan. So, so chat up, chat up your son. Chat up as in talk up. Okay. Chat up your son. Chat friend. up your son. Wagwan. Goody. Eh. Goody. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> it is it is it is rather unfortunate, you know. I'm married. I'll be saying wagwan goody. Goody. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So teach me a little bit, you know, like mm -hmm. everyday, you know, everyday words, you know, that I may because you know what? Mm -hmm. God willing, I may be going to make it this year. Let's see what happens in it. But I may be yeah. going to Jamaica this year, so mm -hmm. I'm trying to prepare myself. Yeah. So when I get there, as soon as I get to the airport yeah. and I see this custom lady, I'm like, Wagwan. What's the word? Wagwan. Don't say goody do at oh. the custom. Why they arrest me? No. Jamaicans are very, very big on respect. Yeah. It's it's also quite strict, you know. Mm. Jamaicans are very strict. Jamaica as a country is quite strict. So when so, I see an elderly person, can I say Wagwan? No. You oh, can't. So you I actually can't. I have to say so auntie. It's one of them things where you say miss. So you say miss and if you could find if you know their surname, you yeah. say Miss Henry, for example. Uh, okay. So you have to be very respectful. And Patwa is the the language that you speak amongst your peers, your your family. Mm. But in general you speak standard English. Okay, okay, okay. Right. So if I was to see your mum. When I go to Jamaica, I can't say hello, Auntie. Good morning. If she if she gives you permission to, then I can call her Auntie. You can call her Auntie, but hey. there's no reason to call her Auntie. You have to say Miss Cindy because her first name is Cindy. But what if I don't know her name? You ask her. So I can't call her Mummy or Auntie. You can call her Mummy. But no, that's fine. You can call her Mummy because but I can't again, call her Auntie. no, she's like, I'm not your Auntie. Ha, that me, is rude. Me, 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 me,
I'm telling you, it's, it's again, it's respect. Respect, give. But auntie is respect. Receive. Auntie's respect. <sighs> Auntie just feel like, uh, me I know your auntie do. Yeah. I don't know your mom. Uh, me I know your auntie do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not your mom. I don't know okay. your mom. Okay. Um, it's, I would call someone auntie in a sense of um, if I felt as if we were similarly on the same level. Okay. But from an older respect, you say miss or mm. missus, depending on if she married or if she's not. And... I call some of my friends mom's mommy okay. and that's fine because my friend mom mm. and if I see like a, a, a older woman or that I've never met then I'll say hey auntie um excuse me something okay, like okay, that you know okay. good morning Miss Chessie. so please can we go back to what I asked you if I go to Jamaica mm. I want to know a few words yeah mm. so few words the other um it depends okay. so if you see a Rasta man Let's talk about a Rasta man. Mm. Yeah? So Rasta man they speak I and they speak in the third the third phrase as in I and I. Speaking. Rasta fried rice. <laughs> Rasta fried rice. No. Far right. Far right. Rasta far right. Ah, okay. Yeah. You said Rasta fried rice. Okay, okay, mm. okay. Rasta mm. far right. Mm -mm, Rasta far right. Yeah, I'm man. Stop eating so much Chinese. You know, mm. yeah, man. But yeah. Mm. So if you're in Jamaica and you go to Jamaica and you say, you, you see a Rasta man, you heal him up. Mm. You say, Irie. Iri, Iri, and, and that's fine. You say hello, it's a sign of endearment, it's a sign of respect. Right. If you see an older woman, you mm. say, um, same thing, hello, good morning, ma'am. Good morning, You ma see somebody, you and him on the same level. Wagwan. 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 Wagwan, Bridget. Wow, so, no, 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 so, oh. no, so let me show you. So you lock it so. <laughs> you lock it so. so. <laughs> you get it. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you see your peers, that's how you greet them. Okay, okay, yeah? okay, wow, okay. Wagwan. Wow, Wagwan. Wow, Ayre. Ayre. So okay. Rastafarians, Ayre. Ayre. Hmm? Your friends, your peers, Wagwan. Wagwan. Older person, Miss. 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 Either their surname or their first name. Okay. okay. And please say good morning. Good morning. Okay. Yeah. So wherever you go, make sure you greet. Yeah. Don't act too prestige. Mm -hmm. You know. You gotta say good morning. Say good morning. <laughs> good morning, Mister Wednesday. <laughs> right. So okay. Else? Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. So what? If I was again, if I was to go to Jamaica mm -hmm. and I got in trouble with the police yeah. or immigration, oh God. what words can I not use or what words can I use to get myself out from that issue? I don't think words can help you. Just make sure you have your dirty money. Make sure you have your money. Corruption, huh? It's everywhere, I'm sorry. No, there's no corruption in Ghana. Okay, maybe once a while. You know, <laughs> once a while. No, oftentimes, obviously, they try to promote that um, bribery is non tolerated and stuff like that. But mm. everybody in Jamaica is a hustler. Mm. Uh, you're hustling, whether mm. you're a police officer, you're a gunman, you're mm. a hustle. Mm. So if you're in trouble, mm. the best thing to do is first and foremost apologize. Mm explain your situation and second of all is just pass them some cash and say it won't happen again have a nice day but the way it's gonna be like this i am so sorry i am so sorry, am so sorry. Yeah, yeah, take, take it take it wait this too little oh this sir come on sir. Pound, sir, come on i'm from pound, ghana i'm from pound, ghana pound, pound, pound. england me see you come out for the flights i went from ghana to Heathrow to kingston jamaica <laughs> Mm. It's like they can they can smell you. Yeah, they can yeah. smell you. They don't want the Jamaican dollar. Make sure you keep a spear mm. um Queen Elizabeth mm. in a back pocket mm. somewhere. Okay. And, okay. and yeah, just don't get in trouble either. You know what? I've got one more question. Mm -hmm. Ghanaians. Yeah. Or let me say not even Ghanaians, Africans. Mm. Yeah. They try to talk patwa sometimes. But it's not it's not like a full sentence. Yeah. It's one particular word. Yeah. <laughs> I think I know what word this is. <laughs> and I apologize. Well, I, I think it's a swear word. I'm not too sure. It is a swear yeah. word. But they say bumbo mm -hmm. Like you're African and you meet a Ghanaian, well, another Ghanaian man and he yeah. piss you off. Mm -hmm. like, bum -bo -clad. What bumbo clad? First of all, let me help you pronounce it. It's bumbo clad. Ah, so you, you have to go down in your chest. Eh, bumbo clad. Bumbo clad. Bumbo clad. Mm. Bumbo clad. Yeah. 
Yes. It's not bumbu. It's not bumbu. Bumbu clad. It's bumbu clad. Bumbu clad. So, mm. and then there's blood clad too. So there's two of them. Blood clad and, and bumbu clad. Yeah. It's literally used depending on what situation you're in. The same way he would say the F word, that's the Jamaican swear word. So it could be a, ter a, a term used for endearment. So I haven't seen it in a long time. I say, Blood God, Sam, are you that? Are me you that? that? It's me, it's me. Yeah, it's me. So yeah, so yeah, that's it. R. Okay. We are calling my blood clot name for. Hey. <laughs> yeah, no? <laughs> so there's two. Mm -hmm. you, you hear the high pitch tone oh. right here so so depending on what the situation is mm. you use that word to let somebody know say so you recognize you're present i'm here yeah. pay attention ah. mm. sing 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 okay nice. okay 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 right. you know what i've learned i've learned a couple you know a couple here and there um, and appreciate it man <laughs> i hope you've learned something as well right okay 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 well i want to give a big shout out to a couple couple jamaican friends yeah i've got a jamaican friend called cecilia my barber man his name is um bradley what's uh, your experience with jamaican barbers cousin <laughs> Jamaican yeah. barbers, they they're good barbers, you know. They can talk, you see. They, they can talk, they can talk, yo, they can talk, they can talk for Jamaican, though, man. But they're good talk. barbers, though. Jamaicans in general can talk for the world. Yeah, they're good barbers, man. But you know, the tough one, though, mm -hmm. when you sit in a Jamaican, um, in a Jamaican barber's chair, yeah, and yeah. they start speaking patwee to you, yeah, and you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, it's so awkward. Yeah, 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 yeah when we yeah. say, you're all right, man, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, I'm all right, I'm yeah. all right. <laughs> You know, so, but yeah, I love, I love, I love my Jamaicans, man. Mm -hmm. We're all one family, so yeah. So people, I hope you enjoyed today. Um, Oshin, you've got a business. Um, I, I want you to tell the viewers all about your business, how they can contact you. Mm -hmm. um, let it go. So I have a fitness company called Oshin Fitness. Um, follow us on Instagram, Oshin Fitness. Um, I do a range of products, waist trainers. Um, body shapers and coming soon dropping new fashion fitness outfits mm. so stay tuned March that's coming in March and off the back of that as well run fitness challenges where I help you get in shape help you with your nutrition help you with your diet yeah so there's a lot of things going on just check out the Instagram page check out our website at www.oshinfitness.com to get some more information on the products and what's coming up Right, my people. So you heard it. If you're a little bit fat, <laughs> so out of like shape. <laughs> if you're a little bit out of shape, fat, you want to get ready for summer. Yep. Yeah? I'm going to put the description. I'm going to put the information in the description. Make sure you visit her. Any questions, holler at her. Yeah. All right. So that's it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I will appreciate any comments. Yeah. yeah you have to say goodbye, Jamaica, as well. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Lucky enough. I yeah, <laughs> until next time.